All right, time to overview this beautiful setup that we just finished up for the customer. So what we're doing here is a Defender Lone Star 2023 20, 24. Well, I think it's just 24. Get a quick rinse off here. Let's open up the compartments and what the stuff we took care of and what we did. So, uh, Lone Star JL roof. All the bells and whistles. Beautiful. So we'll start with simple stuff. So um, interior got two options for lights. There's two lights um, there. Then we did ram mount hookups. Very nice to make things simple to uh, mount your um, accessories such as phone and such. We have an extra outlet here. This is here. Customers complaining about the factory uh, piece that wasn't holding things in. So a little custom molly here. This thing shines nicely overall. So we have a 40 inch LED uh, scene lighting all around. Uh, this is a super ATV front and rear rack. Uh, rear rack had to have custom bracketry done all around with little extra attachment points there uh, in order to mate it with um, the JL top. Quick release flag mount. These are very, very convenient, very nice. Um, a little bit of modif little modification on this part. If you have a rack like this, you know, but you can double mount the water and the fuel cell both sides. This is an adventure ready custom molly panel down for this rack as well works perfect for attaching all your accessories super atv rear bumper with a winch let's see electrical all connections are fused nicely done nicely put away we are utilizing the factory wiring that comes in here and then just tap it into here to keep it 100 percent power available um, all the switches and everything all the wiring all tucked in added an extra one here so all throughout we have uh, one in here one in here one in there and we did one in the back uh, let's see right there for the rear passengers as well um, suction cups these work great as well customer wanted to have an ipad mounted this way um, all the lighting, so it's all, as you see, matching up um, to factory buttons and such. So it just, you know, it's nice. Uh, all the lights, custom requested to have on demand at any time without ignition working. So that's good there. If we are to start it, we will have access to the rear winch, which has a wireless option as well. In our case, we mounted the switch right here, so this way, so you're not in the line of the, um, as you're winching, but you're able to control the winch from standing here instead of being away, or whatever, so that's good. Wiring is all tucked in. Everything is protected from the heat for the exhaust. Um, I do wiring pretty much often, so everything is like factory, you're not gonna basically see anything unless it's basically kind of like this right here and you can't really hide it anywhere um, but everything is wrapped up nice i'm not sure what else to come in there had to open up a few panels um many guys are asking like what is where so if you pull these panels here there's wiring underneath uh to bring in for your you know for your lighting controls because you have factory provides wiring going from here and into the switch area and then from here from the power point you get these connections they, they drop in right here and then they go through the firewall i think you want to you could call it firewall technically um, but we'll get that shut off uh tint all around this is 35 makes it definitely nice and cool and with the you know with the front strip there as well i mean being this rig being black in color um definitely makes a make a huge different tint as far as how you know how cool it will stay so but 
a little bit heavier now. So, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Nixon, and this is Adventure Ready Project here out of Salem, Oregon. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions.